men feel a deep level of satisfaction for what they have to work for and when it comes to love a man deeply craves to feel needed how can a man achieve this feeling of being needed when he's with a woman that is investing in him well he simply cannot when a woman is investing in a man he starts to feel like a child he starts to become dependent on the woman and slowly his desire to feel needed erodes because now he's becoming overly reliant on being taken care of. When a dynamic shifts to mother-son, over time a man stops feeling the desire to be needed by the woman that he loves. This is where the idea of a man being a provider comes from. Men love to do and men love to give. It makes them feel good and it makes them feel useful. When he isn't able to capture this feeling with a woman, the intensity of his feeling starts to diminish and he starts to view her as a roommate or even worse, as a competitor. This often happens when the woman is competing with him for, let's say, resources or competence. If she portrays herself as being more capable than he, he will take that to mean that she is now his opponent rather than lover. And that usually doesn't go very well with men. In this piece, we'll discuss why men fall in love with women they have invested in, and you'll gain a deeper understanding of men and why why the less you do, the more attractive you'll become, and the more attractive that you become, the faster you'll reach that deep level of commitment that you so deeply crave and that your heart deeply craves. I'm Farine. I'm a former attorney. I now teach women how to embrace their feminine essence and create attraction in their relationships by essentially maintaining their femininity and doing less. In my work, you're going to learn that to be feminine does not mean to be weak and that you can absolutely pursue all of your ambitions and actually be quite successful while still maintaining your allure as a woman. Let's start off by discussing the first reason why men fall in love with women that they invest in. So reason number one is that men need to feel needed. In romantic relationships and in life in general, men need to feel that they are needed. Not want to be needed, but need to be needed. Men have a deep desire to feel purposeful in society, in their work, in their community, and especially in their relationships. The desire to be needed is a core need of masculine energy men, and they will essentially do whatever is necessary to achieve this need, whether that be purposeful and productive, or unproductive yet purposeful. That's why you see men bending over backwards for some women or helping others when it appears that they don't really need that help and often at their own expense time and money. Um, to a man, being needed means being purposeful, which makes the doing even more worthwhile for them. Giving to men feels good, and it feels good because men and women are designed to give and receive in relationships. The giver is generally the masculine energy partner in the dynamic, whereas in the receiver is generally the feminine energy partner in the relationship. When these rules are reversed and it doesn't feel good to one or more of the partners, that's when you know that there's an imbalance in the dynamic. And if it feels good, there's nothing to worry about. And by all means, continue doing things as you are. However, if you're not feeling good, I would start to assess how much you are doing in the relationship. The more that you do, the less that he'll do, the worse that you'll feel, and consequently, the worse he'll feel. So if you're in a relationship and you've noticed that he's pulled back quite a bit, he might not be feeling great in the dynamic, and he might not even know why. Things felt so good at first, and suddenly, or often slowly, over time, things started to shift. So this awareness needed for you is that you may simply have been doing too much. Notice how it felt earlier on when a man you liked was showing you interest. Not only would his pursuit have felt good to you, but it also provided him with this much needed feeling of being needed and valued since what he needs is your re reciprocation, which displays to him that he was doing something right. And of course, he wanted to keep doing that thing he was doing right because he wants to please you. That feeling to him that he gets from making you happy is just too good for masculine energy men to pass up. 
when men give in relationships especially when it's appreciated they start to feel a sense of purpose which then makes them feel good which in turn starts to aid in the process of falling in love because he wants to feel manly in the eyes of a woman that he adores and the woman that learns how to meet this need no matter how successful she is will have all the love and adoration that she craves and that she could ever hope for women that have learned to make men feel needed are okay to lean back and they are comfortable with a man providing and taking the leadership role in their relationships in fact the more feminine you are at your core the more you will require a man to take the leadership role and often the more you'll be turned off um, or feel turned off by men who don't you will naturally take a step back with men and in your relationships which will allow men to pursue you and make both you and him feel good when a man is investing in a woman and he is meeting his need of being needed his energy focus and drive are toward his conquest naturally then the more that he invests the likelier he is to develop feelings since he is placing the energy and resources into winning you over or conquering uh, his love interest let's say which leads to my second point of why men fall in love with women they've invested in reason two: investment creates a deeper level of commitment for a man when a man is investing his resources time and energy into you he's now deepening his level of commitment to you every time a man thinks about you plans ahead initiates and goes above and beyond to make you happy and even prioritize you his commitment to you deepens and therefore his love deepens and it goes both ways by the way every time you invest in a man through your actions your thoughts your energy money and time your commitment to him and the relationship also deepens which is often why you feel out of sorts when he is not investing in you to the degree that you are how do you feel when you're thinking about him wondering what he's doing unsure if he's interested in you as your level of anxiety starts to increase so does your level of attachment which then deepens your level of commitment to him and therefore the relationship which is why you're willing to work on things and sometimes even ignore behaviors that you might not tolerate had you not invested so much in essence we don't want to throw our time and our energy um, out the door and we usually see something through um, the more energy we've put into it for men the deeper their level of commitment the more they will naturally give you their resources time and energy this is a key tell of men in love if you like a video on this let me know in the comments and i'll prepare one for you on this topic as women we want to allow a man to deepen their level of commitment to us by allowing that space and opportunity to organically and naturally invest in us this can feel frustrating especially if you're used to getting everything all at once or you've dated love bombers that come on strong healthy masculine men take their time in dating and they need space to evaluate their feelings for you i suggest that you read my book what men want it will give you um, an in-depth comprehensive breakdown on masculine energy men and how they fall in love when women don't understand men they try to close the gap in or they try to establish connection which can only genuinely occur over a period of time even if the pace feels good at first since he may be reciprocating your advances i can assure you that he's not deepening his connection to you because he's not putting in any effort and reciprocation is not the same for a man as is leading or being the giver in relationship reciprocation feels good to men as it props up their ego and sense of self but it does nothing to activate their heart activating a man's heart is a whole other story and can only happen over a period of time i want you to think back to when you put more effort into getting to know a man than he has in you you might notice that although it felt fun and good at first very shortly after his text and contact became less frequent only to eventually fall off altogether or maybe he pops up every now and then to have his ego stroked again or have some fun that's not a man in love and that's certainly not a man falling in love has he invested into you as much as you have invested into him you want to be honest about your answer even if you feel your level of attachment to him should surely signal to him that you need him this only screams desperation to a man because men don't want to be needed 
needed in this way. In fact, attachment to healthy men early on suggests neediness and a troublesome partnership and actually leads men to run for the hills. Attachment early on without a man's investment also works against a man's inclination to want to feel excitement in love, which leads to my third reason as to why men fall in love with women that they have invested in. Reason number three, investment creates a feeling of excitement and a feeling of excitement to a man creates positive associations to a woman and eager feelings of anticipation. When a man feels that he's investing in you and it's working, as in his efforts are yielding a reward, i.e. you're happy, it creates an excited feeling within him. He now starts to think about when he's gonna see you next and what he'll do for you. Men love this feeling when a man feels good feelings with a woman consistently his excitement toward her increases and he looks forward to being with her time and time again which then begins to create bonding moments that lead to love men are rarely excited about women that they don't invest in in fact you'll find that the more invested you are the less invested he is and he displays this by his lack of effort towards you you might even notice that he doesn't text back right away or make plans maybe he lets you know he'll see you the next day only to not return your calls or skip out or do something more pleasurable to him I had a woman on a call tell me that her partner chose to take time off work and instead of seeing her and making plans with her he spent the entire week at home playing video games this is not a man that is in love rather than her tending to her own feelings and hurt she accommodated him which dimmed his attraction even further by the way we did have a call and she did a texting package for the day with me and we turned things around for the time being attraction can definitely be turned around and you can always work with me privately to turn things around in your own dynamic I've worked with many women to turn around their relationships and many have gone on to be married with babies and also with the same men that they had initially come to me for who had ignored them and checked out for years The final reason men fall in love with women they've invested in is men value what they work for and are proud of what they've earned, not simply received. Let's take the example of athletes. They train very hard for that moment that defines them a winner. They wake up early, they are diligent about their diet, and they make sacrifices just to be renounced as the best in their sport. Men then value that trophy or that prize that they receive for winning. They don't just give it away. Even men that hunt, often they'll hang their winnings just to display their efforts. When a man hasn't made any sort of investment into a woman, he won't value her or the relationship and therefore he won't feel love for her because there's no respect. Men need to feel that they've earned a woman's love, which then gives them a feeling of pride and accomplishment. And then this circles back to their level of commitment to the relationship, which naturally deepens as the value goes up. In all, men desire to invest in you, woo you, and win you over. It's a gift that you don't want to rob yourself of or him of. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share with me what insights you've learned and let me know that you've watched this video until the end. I love you and I will see you on the next one.